what is going on my guys welcome back to my channel i'm gary with game of the beach you guys can see it already we're playing a little co-op as you guys know maybe you don't know but when i play co-op on here just because the games go really long i want to make sure that i'm on the streaming software rather than my oh he's got shamans too that's actually really unfortunate his deck that we're playing with is horrible for what i'm playing with um because all he has is inquisitors yeah all he has is inquisitors and uh all i have is shaman spam nothing that he shamans me with is going to be useful so really unfortunate <laughs> really unfortunate maybe he can shaman a couple of my cauldrons maybe that'll help but uh yeah it's hard to do a screen recording and uh, go for an hour the screen recording often often cuts out but we are trying to do some co-op today with random people and just seeing if our shaman support works with us just going into into random games so so far not the most not the best start in the world i would definitely say not the best start in the world but you never know you never know how things can go he does already have four inquisitors so that's pretty cool he's gonna he's got no slow he does have grindstone in there somewhere so maybe the grindstone will be able to help us out but i've been really enjoying playing some co-op and i feel like i know better about what i'm doing with co-op if you guys didn't see in my last stream if you couldn't make the last stream or if you uh haven't yet checked out because i do actually put out the full streams on YouTube, just so you guys who missed it can actually check them out. We have officially gotten a record high co-op wave for, for me, record high for me. So my highest wave was like 71. I played co-op on the stream and I got to like 80 something. And then directly after I played with somebody else and got to over a hundred. And I won't say exactly what I got to because A, I don't know exactly what it was. And B, if you guys want to check it out, I don't want to spoil it for you. So check that out if you guys haven't already. But uh, I'm hoping that we can get back to 100. This game, I think it would be really, really difficult. But you never know. He's already got two rank four in quizzes. Again, the no slow is crazy. He's going to have to put out so much damage against Bedlam, Bedlam to not get switched around. But if I had to put my money down, I think I would say we're going to probably lose at Bedlam. But, you know, we got to think positively. Got to think positively. Let me know what you guys think is the best deck for high waves in co-op right now. Because if I had to choose, I would say, uh-oh, it's okay. We got we got this. We'll be fine. Um, if I had to choose, I would say it is Demon Hunter, Corsair, Be uh, Bombardier. Man, he's really having a tough time. Nah, dude, come on, man. Oh, we got back to four. That's actually amazing. Um, <laughs> I'll hit him with the mallard. Bombardier. Uh, pretzel thrower. And what's the last card? Um, executioner, because it's really good with Corsair. And then if I do the deck I'm running right now, Shaman Spam, it works out pretty well. So if you guys don't know how to play, or you guys want to try and figure out a new deck for co-op, try out that deck I just said, and uh, and let me know how it works out for you. I think it'll work out pretty good. I'm digging for an extra shaman or something. All right, just do this because why not? Um, keep going, keep going. Let's do that. We're doing pretty good, I'd say. We've got he's got a rank four. Okay, I'm gonna go up here. That's good. Combine out. Do I have another? I don't even have another rank two to combine out. I'll do this one, I guess. Okay. Okay, we'll do this just to make sure we always have a shaman on the board. That's what's the important thing. Do, do, do. Look at all these plays, my guys. Oh, I would rather have not had that hit that. But again, he's got shamans and he's trying to fire at me and I've got nothing. So <laughs> hopefully he can just hold on. 
He's got one, oh, two very high ranking in quizzes. And then after that, he's got nothing. So, uh oh, he went to the wrong. I still have my snowflake, so maybe we'll be okay. Look at my shaman trying so hard over there. This guy, come on, boy. Take out all this stuff. So, yeah, I mean, he got back down to the number. I think it, it, it he has to really just wait and build up as much mana as he can and then make sure that he gets to nine and then just try and stay at nine because then I can just spam him with shamans. As, well, I'm, I mean, as much as I can and, and see where we go from there. But everything I'm hitting right now, there's only half of his board, less than half of his board is Inquisitors. So definitely a little bit tricky. All right, he's got some shamans. He's got, okay, that's not helpful at all. But we have actually gotten some uh, grindstones in nice places now from what, what he's just done. So maybe it is pretty useful. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you guys ever, if you guys are on my friends list, which actually, let me address the friends list real quick because I have had a couple of comments of people like being like, oh, you removed me from your friends list. Don't feel bad. You're welcome back. It wasn't anything you did. Don't worry. You did nothing wrong. When I stream, which I do, I stream like once a week, if you guys don't know, uh, I do like a virtual line. So if you guys want to play with me, I've already have, I already have a friends list that's full. So I'm just going to remove some random people that aren't, you know, BB clan members and kind of cycle through people who are in the stream so I'm able to play with them. So if I removed you from my my friends list, don't feel bad and you're welcome back on. Just catch my stream next time and you're and there's a pretty good chance that I'll play with you. I played with a bunch of people in my last one. So um so yeah, if you guys are my friends, well this was my point. If you guys are my friends on my friends list and you see me online, hit me up, you know? Try to do a uh PVP battle, do a co-op with me. No problem. If you're in my Discord, we can kind of chat a little bit about how we're going to be doing things and whatever. I tried to just do a battle with one of my members just now, but the game actually cut out, and they were still going. I was not still going. Uh, they lagged me out of the game, unfortunately. So um, so now here we are playing with a random one, and this is what happens when you play a random one. You end up going up against Grindstone or going with Grindstone Inquisitor while they're spamming shamans at you to where you have nothing to level anything up. But... Let's just make a play here, because why not? Okay, that was useful. Let's do that. Do this. Okay, at least we made a couple of plays. This is good. Give me a shaman. Eh, not the end of the world. Okay, interesting. I guess I kind of have to do this now. Our plays are getting weird. Our plays are getting weird. Man, he hasn't made very many moves of getting up to a high rent. I wonder if he has a bunch of mana or not. Because he could get... Oh, boy. Oh, okay. Well, I think he combined out his grindstone. Whew, I was, I was waiting for the snowflake. I think he combined out his grindstone and... Uh, got a in quiz just like out of pure luck but now he does have a max in quiz as well as two rank five in quizzes which is pretty amazing let's see if he pauses it or if i'll have to yeah we'll, we'll be fine we'll be fine so wave 26 now guys bedlam is going to be really really tricky i don't know if he's going to be we're going to be able to take out bedlam but Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Look how far they're getting on our board. This is crazy. He needs to get to nine for us to even have a shot in the like shot in any chance in the world. Uh, but I don't think he's fe feeling up to getting to nine, so I don't think it's gonna happen. All right, let's just combine out. See if we can do anything here. Who am I leveling up? Why is he mad? Because I didn't wait until he spammed his board. I've been waiting for you all game to spam your board to get to nine. You haven't done it. Do something, man. Four is not going to do it. We're going to lose to Bedlam. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. I feel like I've had this guy on my friends list, too. The name looks super familiar. But hey, we made it to wave 29. I wonder, I always am curious. 
does it say in the stats how what's the furthest wave that you've gotten i know it does on your home screen but i mean when you're fl facing against somebody or playing with somebody in co-op does it say their furthest wave i'm not sure dude you better spam your board you gotta get to nine man you gotta do it you have to <laughs> i got scared bro you gotta do it man look at that we're barely he he didn't even get him below anything good game oh my goodness should we just jump into another one and see if we can catch somebody with a little bit better of a deck i don't know what he was trying to do i don't know how he combined out so much but it happens good game dude <laughs> Really unfortunate of a, of a matchup like right there, but let's jump into another one, right? We're doing the streaming platform. Let's just make this a longer video. Oh, wait, I didn't want to do that. PvP. I'm just going to X out. I'm just going to X out. Hit him with a good game. Sorry, bud. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's... Uh, <laughs> I'm so used to doing that. Let's do co-op. All right, here we go. Going back into a co-op. What a mess of a video, but we want to do some co-op and we want a good deck. Uh... <laughs> the best support deck in the game doesn't work all that well when you are not playing with somebody that you set up. That's what I think is happening right now. Let's see if we can keep chugging along, though. I mean, if we can make it to... to if we make it to two wave 30s, that's pretty much as if we made it to wave 60, right? I mean, that's how that works, correct? No? I don't think so. <laughs> uh, but we're fine. Here we go. Let's do a Shaman Adam. There you go, buddy. Let's just try and hang out. Let's, let's see what we can do. Let me know in the comments what is your highest wave in co-op and also let me know do you guys ever just do the random co-op and just see how far you get or is it always now you're playing with your friends now that friends list is out are you almost always just playing with your friends or do you also just try and see how far you can go with randoms i don't know i don't know what like the average person how many people they're friends with on uh, like is on their list do you guys have mostly like five friends ten friends you uh, are all you guys maxed out with random whoever i'm curious but we've had some pretty good opportunities with shamans. He's only got thunderers, so the only so this deck that we're playing with right now hit my opponent or my partner, I should say. That'll fare better than the one we just played with with Inquisitor. I, I'm pretty sure about that, S simply because meteors are are strong, and uh, And we'll be able to take out bosses pretty good. So when we go up against Bedlam, he should be able to just like, boom, like Meteor right at Bedlam, take out like half of it, if not all of it. And then we can kind of go from there rather than Inquisitors. <laughs> that that game was so ridiculous. That game was so ridiculous. That, that guy didn't, don't, don't get me wrong, he didn't play it poorly. It was just not a good deck for partnering with my deck or my deck wasn't a good deck partnering with his deck i mean you know it goes both ways but i think if he would have gotten a nine we would have had a better shot to take him out take out the take out bedlam but who knows so we're the guy's name that we're playing with right now don't recognize that at all let's just do this um start combining out rank one cauldrons Okay, we already have a level three cauldron, so let's level them up one more time. Because the earlier you do that, the more profit you're gonna have with mana, right? Little tiny tips we can give out tips. Uh, it probably would be more beneficial for me to just do as much of a damage co-op deck and then jump into a game. Because if they do happen to have shaman, then I'm gonna be in really good shape. And if they don't end up having shaman, I'll still be in pretty good shape. Rather than with me. If I just go in with this deck and spam shamans and they don't have any damage, I'm going to be in trouble. I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. But water under the bridge. What are you going to do? We maxed out our college and we're hanging out. I hope everybody's having a fantastic morning today. 
and so far so good so far so good like i said two wave 30s equals a wave 60 whether you like it or not all right pretty good uh pretty good spammy right there okay again like you know when you play with meteor half of me says you want to keep low ranking units so you can combine out easier easier with it, which is definitely true but if you do rank up his meteor he does more damage so it kind of goes both ways i was interested to see if he was going to turn that into a thunder or no he's not he's just going to hold on i feel like it's really awkward to play the deck that he's using with shamans coming at you leveling everything up because it's like counterintuitive you're trying to like make your board look good and you're trying to have some meteors and thunders and everything then all of a sudden you have like rank four five seven meteor and you're like well what the heck I, what am i gonna do with that Ooh, tap my screen a little bit weird there okay what can we do we can do this let's just combine out my these guys okay we can do this let's do that do this, do that, do that. We don't have a ton of high-ranking cauldrons at all, huh? Wave 15, taking them out, fine. I feel like he hasn't even used Meteor at all, really. What are you going to do? I mean, we don't need it. You, you, We don't need it right now. Okay, I'm just going to combine out all of these because... Oh, actually, I'm, I'm going to wait. I need to keep... As many shamans as I can. At least one of every type. Still chilling. Because it's a stream. Or it's not really a stream. But because it's a stream, we also have water. You got to be fully prepared for however long the game goes. We could have popped in and this guy could have been running the best deck in the game. Could have gotten to wave 300. So you got to be prepared. Always got to be prepared. Okay, that was good. So he has a rank six, uh, rank five meteor. He doesn't have any uh, thunderers over rank three, which is a little bit interesting. But I guess his board is really full, so I'm kind of spreading out the shamans a bit. It's such a nice spread. He's only got two rank one units. Wave 19, my goal is to beat Bedlam. Random, random guy, beat Bedlam. That's what I want in this life. Okay, we can do this. We can do, oh, not that. We can do this. Okay, now we've only got one rank one unit on his board. Uh-oh. Oh, it was wave, tw no, that was wave 19. We were having, a tr we were having trouble with wave 19. Spam a meteor, dude. You might not need it, but like, why not? You know. At least we'll be able to hit both once they're in the middle. Is he? Is he doing anything? Okay, he's doing something. I'll just do this to help. Why not? You're welcome. I did no damage. <laughs> All right, spam our board a little bit. All right, great. Okay, now our Cauldrons are getting leveled up just a little bit, little by little. That's what I like to see. Another one of those. We got to rank one so we can combine those out at some point. But let's fill our board first and kind of go from there. I don't, yeah. I mean, now he has a rank four Thunderer. So that's good. Okay, let's do that. Now he's another rank four. Okay. We're making our way, man. You know what I was thinking about the other day is his and I's deck are exactly the same. The guy that we played with before, his deck was exactly the same as mine, except for two cards. And he has Meteor and Thunderer. I have Shaman and Cauldron. He had Inquisitor and Grindstone. But every other card was the deck. It was the every other card in the deck was the same. Summoner, Harlequin, Mime. Crazy. It's crazy that the best decks in the game more or less are the same three cards sometimes the same four cards and then one or two little switches in decks oh my 
goodness. We almost lost right there. Uh, I guess I'll spam more because I'm scared. But not only is it crazy that that's, a, that's true, it's also wild to me that those one or two little changes, I mean, my deck that I'm using could not be more different than the Inquisitor Grindstone deck that he was using, which could not be more different than the Meteor Thunderer deck that he's using. But there's only two different cards, but they're still super different. It's just really interesting to me. I'd never really thought about it in that manner. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think, if that's interesting or not. But doesn't really matter either way. I don't have Snowflake. I don't have... Okay, he has... Yeah, he has Meteors. Okay, he's got to start using a little bit more... A little bit more Meteors. I know he's probably trying to keep them for... I'm just going to do that for right now. Keep them for when we go up against Bedlam. But we now are at 26. Come on. Let's make it to 30. That's all I'm trying to do. Um, I guess we'll have to do this. That. Okay. That's not the end of the world. Like His Meteor has to be just part of his offense, man. That's what's going to save us. But actually, right now, we might be okay. And also, right now, we might lose a lot. Okay. We're good. Okay. He now has more Thunderers on his board than Meteors, so that's a good thing. I think he's trying to hold out those two rank five Meteors for Bedlam. That would be great. I don't think we'll even need a Meteor for this one. Oh, he used one, but uh, he we didn't need to, but I, I absolutely agree. That was sketchy as everything. I'll try and, like, use my Snowflake instead so he doesn't have to Meteor every time. So let's just use that right now. Oh, he's using his. Let's see if his blows up or anything. Nah. So his is pretty low level. Wave 29. What can we do? We can do this. Let's try not to mess up his, his stuff here. Okay, <laughs> wave 29, if we take this out, we go to Bedlam, that's all that matters, fellas. He's going to Meteor Bedlam, and we should be absolutely fine. We got 1,200 mana, so we're chilling. Meteor that Bedlam. Meteor it. Meteor it. What are you doing? What in the world, dude? You could have taken it out. Okay, well, now you're taking it out, but why? Why did you do it like that? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Okay, here we go. This is madness all right um i'll go here i'll go y'all okay we're taking it out without meteors that's a good sign let's just do a bunch of these i guess okay I guess his, somehow it worked out for the better, and we got a bunch of high-ranking Thunderers on his board, but I don't know how that's possible. <laughs> All right, there we go. I'll just do that. Okay, I'll do this now. Um my new hit single called huh? all right wave 33 we've got a bunch of cauldrons and a bunch of summoners and really no plays to make except for this do that we got a rank six we have anything rank six no sir
Okay, we got some plays now. We had a bunch of mana. It's all gone. I really do think it's tough that with me spamming shamans with him to actually have meteors because I feel like you use meteor periodically. Let's see if he uses his. Uh... Yeah, I knew he was going to use his. I think I'll. I'll think I'll need to use mine too, which I'm more than happy to. We'll be fine. Wave thirty-five. We're doing great, guys. You're doing phenomenal. We're doing fantastic. Didn't know what to expect from this video whatsoever. You guys have so far seen a wave 30. Me going to a PvP and my first ever, actually I didn't even notice this, but my first ever resignment from a game. And now we're on our way. We're at 37. I mean, we're not doing bad. He needs his meteors. Now he's doing great. Look at his Thunderers are super high level. He's doing phenomenal. He was I was a little questionable with his plays uh against Bedlam, but it worked out. You know what? I'm not gonna doubt my boy. I wanna say his name, but I feel like it's something weird. So I'm not gonna say his name. But I'm not gonna doubt you ever again. I promise. I'll never doubt you again. Alright, we what we can do. We can do this. And now we wait. We don't have too many cauldrons. We got some. Hmm. Let's do that for right now. Okay. Let's do this. Rank four. Okay, I got my snowflake back. That's good. He has one meteor he can use. Let's try and... Oh, I was going to say, let's try and have him save that meteor, but... Uh, now we're Meteor Empty. Oh, but it's Warlock anyway. Wow, I didn't even realize that switch, and that actually worked out amazingly. You're going to have to Meteor something, dude. I think this is going to be it, though. Let's uh freeze him. Oh, we're taking him out, like, reasonably okay. Maybe I thought maybe I could like level something up that would help him out. <laughs> uh, no, he couldn't get to a good meteor. But that okay, so that's gonna be it. We made it to wave thirty nine. When you match up with somebody random in co op, you have no idea what you're gonna be going up against, and if what you're using currently is gonna be anything good. And I think that's why most people are probably just using their friends, and that makes a whole lot more sense but that's gonna be the end of this youtube video guys if you enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll check you guys out in tomorrow's video